Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Uh, for the first part of this video, uh, it didn't, it wasn't recording my audio um, for the beginning of this video. Uh, so I shall fill in for what Past Me was saying. Basically, today we're gonna, be, I'm gonna be showing you how to build some dinosaurs in Minecraft or whatever Jurassic Park builds or any prehistoric builds of any sorts uh, you may have that you must use dinosaurs for. So please enjoy and subscribe, please. <laughs> And that is how we shall make the Velociraptor. You shall notice how I did the candles instead of just like a normal block because uh, the Velociraptor was actually likely to possibly have uh, cat-like pupils, unlike some of the depictions that we see more often nowadays with the bird-like pupils, which... Uh, uh, it might have had cat-like pupils. I put the cat-like pupils. It's fine if you do either one. It just depends on which one you like better. And now we shall move on to the Stegosaurus. This one has a lot more things in its recipe. However, it is, um, it's not as complicated as the Velociraptor is. It's a fairly simple design, um, however, it does cost a lot of terracotta, however, you could, uh, make it cost less terracotta by, uh, hollowing out the inside, wait, that would only save you three terracotta, four terracotta, five terracotta, yeah, five terracotta, so never mind about that making it cheaper. Well, it does make it cheaper, just not a lot cheaper. And now we shall go on to the Triceratops. Oh, and by the way, uh, feel free to change the colors, as we don't know what ha what color most of these animals were. Except for one of them later on the line. Wait, hold on. except for one of them later down the line. So, uh, with that, so with the Triceratops, um, we shall now start.
can see that I've made the tail remarkably short, and that is actually because Triceratops had a incredibly short tail, which is a difference from its uh from another uh smaller, I think ancestral Ceratopsian Protoceratops, which actually had a much larger tail. And then we add the frill. We've found frills with Tyrannosaurus bite marks on it. And, uh, that have healed over, I think. Or maybe that was, like, different bones, but... Either we found bones that have Tyrannosaurus bite marks healed over on it. Which does show that Tyrannosaurus was indeed a, a predator and not a scavenger. <laughs> Anyways, this is how you create the Triceratops. And now we shall move on to one that I don't even probably have to show you how to make, but I will anyways. Definitely the cheapest recipe out of the entire list, or... Okay, that's not the cheapest breath. It's between the Dimetrodon and the Boreopelta, probably. Anyway, the Dimetrodon is incredibly cheap to make. Fun fact about the Dimetrodon, I can actually call it a mammal without, uh, getting in, uh, without, like, you know, getting shot at by the Paleo community, because this thing is, uh, closer related to mammals closer related to you and I than it is to that thing. That's how you make the Dimetrodon. Really simple. They're included with every dinosaur toy, yet they didn't live alongside the dinosaurs. They were, like, 200 million years before the dinosaurs. They were, they were further from the dinosaurs than we are from the dinosaurs in terms of time. Anyways, now we're moving on to where did the sign go? I put a sign there, I swear. Now we are moving on to the Abelosaurus. One of the more obscure dinosaurs. This dinosaur was, uh, was, belonged to the same family that Carnotaurus belonged to. And is actually the dinosaur that has the, that uh, the entire family is named after, being the Abelosaurids. I don't know if I'm using that word correctly, but I might be. And then go on to its neck, and then the head. And then finally, it's osteoderms. We found via skin impressions that these actually weren't lined up ornately, well, we found on Carnotaurus skin impressions that they were actually more randomly spread out and not lined up like that, so it's logical to assume that the rest of the Abelosaurids would have their osteoderms all randomly scattered out. Oh wait, I've, I almost forgot the arms. The actual useless arms, unlike T-Rex, which had incredibly muscular, useful arms, uh, this thing actually did have useless arms, way smaller than T-Rexes, and very tiny. I'll deal with you later. We're not gonna do the Therizinosaurus yet. It's, um, we're gonna save it along with the T-Rex for last, because they are easily the biggest. <clears throat> Moving on to the Ankylosaurus.
this one is pretty simple, uh, not too hard to make. The main prob the main issue, the hardest part about get about getting the materials if you're doing this in survival, is getting the deep slate from the uh, from all the way down there, uh, or maybe it's the concrete. Uh, actually, it's probably the blackstone. Anyways, now we shall move on to the Struthiomimus. Um. You also may want to change the eye because Ender Pearls. Um. <laughs> Are Ender Pearls expensive? I don't actually remember. Um, I mean, you got it. All right, so you. Uh, so you kill Endermen. Endermen are kind of rare, so um, you, you should probably just swap out the Ender Pearl for, for like you know, just some sort of dark block. Because Ender Pearls are expensive. More expensive than mo than a lot of things. Uh, yeah, pretty much any uh, sort of dark block will work for the pupil of the Struthia Minus. And then we added tail feathers, and then it's torso, and then it's neck. This really shows how um how closely uh how um how convergent evolution works, uh with how similar ostriches are to these things. And yes, ostriches and struthiomimuses are both dinosaurs. Yes, birds are dinosaurs. Um. So they are both dinosaurs, but, uh, but they are not from like uh the the ostriches were not like were not descendants of these. They were descendants of the smaller flying dinosaurs that evolved near the end of the Cretaceous, and then and then suddenly some of them decided to go on the floor and get big. Um. Which uh, shows how uh, beneficial this body plan is, with how uh, ostrich and uh, the ornithomimids evolved it. And we'll deal with you later. Parasaurolophus. Actually, we'll do Boreopelta first. Because that's one simple. Normally, I would suggest you to change the colors. However, I, this time I do not suggest you to change the colors because this is actually the exact color that Boreopelta was, roughly. We know from a fossils find it, findings that they were a reddish brown color uh, around, like, you know, this, this color, roughly. Uh, we know that because of a near-perfectly preserved dinosaur mummy. Uh, I thought that it was pronounced Boreopelta, and I spelled it wrong, but really it was pronounced Borealopelta, not Boreopelta. I got that one wrong. Also, please consider subscribing since you've made it this far. Past me might have uh, already said this, but I don't. But I'm not sure, and I'm not gonna check the whole video. It might have been in the beginning segment. So please consider subscribing if you like this concept content. Only 20% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. That might sound like not a lot, but that's actually technically a lot considering how little uh, people subscribe to YouTubers nowadays. Anyways, uh. Tongue yeah, please us. subscribe and enjoy your watching of this video. No, I wasn't.
And since you've made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Because only 20% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. Now, that's actually a high number for YouTubers, so I shouldn't really be complaining about that. However, uh, b if you enjoy this sort of content, I shall be making more of it in the future. Specifically making a whole lot more dinosaurs and different variations of the dinosaurs, like bigger, smaller, more accurate sizes wise, and like, I'll, I'll, I'll make a lot more of this content, especially like, how to make dinosaurs in Minecraft, because the dinosaurs in Minecraft are like, anyways, this is, that, so that's the Parasaurolophus, actually, if you want it to be more accurate, you can place the birch, you can place buttons alongside of it, all, along on its back, as we have found from preserved Edmontosaurus mummies. That I think was it Edmontosaurus mummies. It was probably Edmontosaurus mummies that uh, we have found uh, that it actually does have uh, osteoderms running along its back. And now we have to deal with the T-Rex and the Tickle Chicken. Sorry for that brief interruption, something happened. And now back to dealing with the T-Rex and the Chicken chi and the Tickle Chicken, also known as the Therathinosaurus. These ones are a whole lot more expensive than the other ones. Deal with the T-Rex first, because I think that it's way less complicated. I think that I probably should have made it smaller. Uh, more in scale with the Triceratops. But, uh, they're not the furthest from the real-life sizes. They could be, uh, better in terms of size. However, they're close enough. And as long as it works, that's what matters. Did you know that, um, did you know that, uh, unlike in Jurassic Park, T-Rex actually had, like, the best eyesight ever? It was even better than modern birds of prey. It also had binocular vision like we have, which allowed it to have, uh, better depth perception. Which would have been useful when, tri when calculating how far a triceratops' horns are away from its face. Uh, because it really, uh, it needed to do that when fighting, when attacking, uh, heavily armored opponents, because unlike how, uh, dinosaur media would ta teach you, uh, 
herbivore dinosaurs could, mo in most cases, could kill a carnivore. And then with the head, we finally get to the head. And there we go. And that is the Tyrannosaurus Rex complete, other than the arms. That is the Tyrannosaurus Rex complete. Now the only thing left is the tickle chicken, which I have desperately tried to make uh to have feathers on it, but the feathers do not look great. But at least it does have the feathers. And the reason why it's not, why it's absent on the T Rex is because T Rex probably didn't have any feathers. They were too large to have feathers. Uh, the Therizinosaurus is actually uh smaller than it's depicted here. Um. But T-Rex probably didn't have any feathers. It uh, also skin impressions show that it was covered in fail in scales. A um, a light fuzz could be possible. However, that's just speculative. Anyways, the current animal, the Therizinosaurus, might seem to be, um, a, uh, might seem to be, uh, very, uh, one of the heavily armored herbivores like Triceratops that could have defended themselves against T-Rex. However, you would be incorrect, as these, as the claws are too brittle to use for combat, and the claws were actually more likely used for, uh, eating plants. To assist while eating plants. And then we shall get to its arms, and then its neck. And then we get to the long neck, which was likely used for, uh, like, uh, the necks of the sauropod dinosaurs or giraffes, uh, 
to uh, help with eating leaves. This is basically just a bipedal uh, sauropod. I actually had an alternate head design that I, uh, that I changed because it looked too much like a Gigantoraptor. And that is how you will build all the dinosaurs. Not all the dinosaurs. All this is how you shall build several other dinosaurs. Uh, several dinosaurs, specifically several popular ones. I don't have a sauropod, so I'll definitely uh, have a sauropod in the next video. Uh, please like and subscribe for more content, and enjoy your day.